Uh, I mean, I guess it has to be. Unless it's this. Because he just brought that up. But I don't see how there's anything else to examine about that either. Then there's the figurine again, but we already talked about that. What could possibly be examined about this? Uh... Fingerprints? Or, uh, fuck it, I'll present it. Phoenix will take it from there. I don't have a goddamn clue. Yeah. Who knows? Wait, what? I mean, sure, this suicide note was found inside this bear. But this bear was in my possession until a few moments ago. Which means... The handwriting on the suicide note has yet to be analyzed. Okay. Oh. So. As to whether this pivotal piece of evidence was really written by Ms. Impacts or not. Has yet to be even remotely confirmed. Mr. Wright, you can't seriously be suggesting. Mr. Wright. You. Are you saying the suicide note is a fake? Ms. Andrews. You were the one who tried to pin this murder on Mr. Ongard. Who's to say you didn't create a fake suicide note and put it into this bear? How dare you! Your Honor, the defense is indiscriminately accusing the witness again. There is no evidence linking the witness to the suicide note whatsoever. But if this is a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it. Phoenix is good at coming up with random shit to draw trials out. He really is. Recall the witness's testimony concerning this figurine. The only person other than the victim who could solve the puzzle is the witness herself. Ah! Ah, the glasses again. Miss Andrews, you wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame Matt on guard. I... I did no such thing. Right, if you're going to pronounce the suicide note a fake, then show this court some evidence to support your theory. Mr. Edgeworth, you were the one who presented this scrap of paper as evidence. That means the burden of proof lies with you, the prosecution. Wow, burden of proof up in this bitch. That's enough. Mr. Edgeworth, can you confirm the handwriting on the suicide note? Yet to be analyzed. If that's the case, it seems that yet again we have reached a point where the verdict is impossible. Gumshoe, call me, please. <laughs> This isn't good, Phoenix. The judge is going to carry this trial over one more day. I don't think Maya will physically be able to make it another day. I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I request that both the prosecution and defense further investigate. Handwriting analysis, my butt. That's just the lawyer trying to buy more time. You're right. On guard is guilty. You're right. I, yes. I think we've reached the end of the line. Guilty. 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 Guilty! Guilty? Guilty? Guilty. Guilty? Guilty? Yes! Oh, dick. Thank you so much. Dick Gumshoe, my savior, my lord. It's Gumshoe. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, I just got a phone call in the middle of court, your honor. It's fine. <laughs> Apparently it is. We got whips in court. We can have phones. Ah. <sighs> What? What? Where's Maya? What happened to the killer? He, uh... He got away. But do you have Maya? I'm sorry, pal. I really am. I don't know what to say besides I'm sorry. I wish there was some way to make it up to. I really do. Anyway, what's going on? We found his hideout, pal. But the two of them were... Well, God fucking damn it. Are you kidding me? This is terrible. I'm going to keep looking for them, pal. Don't you worry. I just need a little more time. But... Don't tell me we don't... We don't have any more... Guilty! Guilty! Okay, guys, I get it. Man, I don't care if you don't find the killer. We can carry the whole... The killer assassin line over into the next game, and it'd be fun. Just find Maya. Mr. Wright, I can't... For us to come this far and... Come on! Oh, what? What, 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 what is it? Let me talk to Mr. Edgeworth. I, I can't do that. Mr. Wright, would you please get a hold of yourself? Yes, Your Honor. 
Why can't you let him talk to Mr. Edgeworth? Hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch. There, that's all you needed to do. Take that, nice. Oh, <laughs> wow. What a fantastic throwing animation that we've just had. <laughs> that, was, that was ridiculous. Please, you gotta buy us some more time. Honestly, I think the buying time bit is lasting a little too long at this point. Wow, Edgeworth, he just hung up. I'm sorry, Your Honor, you were saying... Mr. Wright, this is a court of law. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but... You don't say anything to Franziska when she's whipping people. I'm reluctant to do this, however. It appears that I have no choice but to suspend proceedings until tomorrow. This time I really can't do anything. Court is now adjourned for the day. For the whole day? No. Come on. Of course! Always. Thank you. Please wait, Your Honor. Suspend it for like an hour. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I humbly request another 30 minutes of Your Honor's time. For what purpose? We can perform the necessary tests on this piece of evidence in that time. Ah, uh, but can you really obtain your results in 30 minutes? I believe we can, Your Honor. But wouldn't it be better if we adjourn for today and then reconvene tomorrow? 30 minutes, please, Your Honor. That's all I am asking for. Please, Your Honor. Very well. At the prosecution's request, this court will now take a 30-minute recess, but be advised that I will not allow another recess today. I'm not sure if this is helping or hurting us. The court will now take its final recess of the day. Okay. Uh, I don't know, dude. The killer, it looks like he got away again. 30 minutes? We can't find her in that time. Oh, p p please, for the love of everything. Report. Ah, uh, is that Mr. Edgeworth? We don't have time, just spit it out. Right. Looks like we just missed him, sir. But the killer left a few things behind by accident in his rush to get away. A few things? Can we use any of them as, a as evidence? Ho ho ho, I thought you'd ask, pal. I've got the things he left with me right now and I'm on my way over. Really? That's odd. Any items like that are usually sent to the crime lab first. We don't have time to wait for those guys, sir. When those guys weren't looking, I swiped the stuff and ran. Dude, Gumshoe is awesome in this case, too. It's fantastic. It's like the coolest that Gumshoe's ever been. Well, I'm not a detective anymore, so I had to... I'm really sorry, sir, but I gotta put the law on hold for now. Sounds bad. I hope he doesn't get in too much trouble over this. Gumshoe, you're the best. With my hunk of junk car, I'd say I'll be there in about 20 minutes, sir. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. Pearl. You go run, meet him halfway, and then run back. You're probably faster than a car, you little badass. Running all the way here from Karain Village and shit. I'm on a mission and no one can stop me now, sir. No one. I'm pulling out all the stops and running every red light. Do it. Gumshoe's awesome. Items left by the murderer, huh? Maybe there's something among them that will be decisive enough to end this. Oh my god. What the fuck? Did he just crash? No! No one can stop. I'm... Gumshoe! You stupid piece of shit! <laughs> no! That's what happens when you run red lights! He got in an accident! Pearl, run! Go! You little Olympian! What? <laughs> what is he thinking? <laughs> We've gotta hurry and call for help. But we have no idea where he is. His cell phone is broken, and he wasn't driving a patrol car, so no radio either. Also, if we don't get to those items before they do, the police will take possession of them. No, we can't let that happen. Well, if there is a, a way we can find out where he is, then we stand a chance. Why, oh why, did Gumshoe have to get into an accident now? Is there any way to find out exactly where he is at this moment? Uh, well, uh, that one. I don't know what it is, but that one. That's right, there is a way. What? How? I'm sure we can find out where Detective Gumshoe is through this. But... Is it this thing? Or... I mean... 
That doesn't make any sense. He doesn't have the other one. Camera. Um... Um... None of this. Um... I have no idea whatsoever. Through this. I don't... I, I don't know. Profiles? He says through this. Implying that it's a thing. Um... I still... I, I just want Pearl to run. I mean, the ones who aren't here are Lada, Franziska, and Old Bag. The most likely choice is Franziska? It's weird that he would say through this. Although, yeah, I guess referring to her as a human is not exactly appropriate. Uh, if we're gonna call on Franziska for help. That's the only thing I can think of that makes any sense. Why would she help? Why are you bringing up Franziska at a time like this? Oh, I see. I'll try to get in contact with her. The chances are slim, but she's all we have. Franziska. Will she even want to help us? Edgeworth. What is it? I don't have any right to judge anyone ever again. I know my client is guilty, but what I'm doing now, I'm pinning the guilt onto someone totally innocent and using the evidence to do so. It might be my turn to say defense attorney Phoenix Wright chooses death. Wright, it doesn't suit someone like you to cry useless tears. Whether you did your job well or not, that can only be seen after the verdict has been decided. The verdict. Is Prosecutor Edgeworth here? Yes, Bailiff. There's a phone call for you, sir. They said it was extremely urgent. They're probably finished with the handwriting analysis. I have to go take this call. In the meantime, think hard about what it is you must do. Well, shit. I'm gonna keep going for a little longer to get a full video out of this. So we'll go a little bit into the next part. I guess we gotta call Franziska. Did I do that off screen? I would have liked to have seen the conversation. I mean, did it work out? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. What the fuck? I can understand the defense acting like this. However, why do you also seem distraught, Mr. Edgeworth? I... that is... it's nothing, Your Honor. What's wrong with Edgeworth? Looks like something unexpected just happened to him. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you could please tell us the court results of the handwriting analysis on Miss Impact's suicide note. Yes, Your Honor. Unfortunately, we have discovered that this suicide note is a forgery. What? Phoenix is probably legitimately surprised. Unless he's lying. What? Order, 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 Mr. Redgeworth. Would you care to explain what is going on? If this was not written by Miss Impacts, then who wrote it? We would need more time to do a more detailed analysis, however. It appears that the handwriting matches that of the victim, Mr. Juan Corridor. Mr. Corridor? Well, well. It looks like Miss Impacts never left. What the fuck? Well, that's a neat little twist. It was all Juan. He pretended it was a suicide note. She never wrote anything about On Guard. However, Your Honor, even though this suicide note is indeed a fake, Mr. On Guard could not have known that, and so that facts remains... That facts... That facts remain unchanged. Okay. Acting under the assumption that it was real, he had plotted to possess it. Huh, that does sound very plausible. It's theory that On Guard had no idea that the suicide, the suicide note was fake. Something seems a little wrong with it. Yeah, but even if he knew it was fake, he still wouldn't want Juan Corda to read it, because once that's out there, it would just sully his image no matter what, so, you know. But I've gotta fucking do something, so here we go. The defense believes that the theory the prosecution has stated contradicts testimony. Which part? And it's impossible for Mr. Ongar to not have known it was a fake. Uh, oh, because he was spying? 
Yeah, but I just assumed that he wrote it like a long time ago. Like right after Celeste died or something, but maybe not. I guess he did it recently. But again, what I'm saying is bullshit. I'm just supposed to stall for time, so it doesn't matter if what I'm saying makes absolute sense. So I guess I'll say the spy camera. What is this little item called again? Uh, a video camera, Your Honor? Well, a very small one, but... Oh, that's right! A camera! Ah, oh, you kids and your fancy toys nowadays! Mr. Edgeworth, earlier you claimed that Mr. Ongard knew of the existence of this note because he was spying on the victim, isn't that right? If that were true, then this means Mr. Ongard would have known that the victim had forged the note. Ah! So then the defendant knew the suicide note was a fake. And if that's true, then the situation has suddenly changed in a very dramatic way. Exactly, Your Honor. The prosecution's theory as to what Mr. Ongard's motive for murder was, it has suddenly disappeared into thin air. But, Your Honor, it's not as if Mr. Ongard monitored Mr. Corridor 24 hours a day. Perhaps the victim wrote the note in a place Mr. Ongard didn't know of. Well, right back at you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why don't you show us some proof that the victim made the forgery at an unknown place? Eh. Order, 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 Mr. Edgeworth. It looks like this time it is you who has dug his own grave. Ugh, as I figured. Huh? As you figured? As I figured, it came down to this after all. Mr. Edgeworth, you are not making any sense. When I heard the results of the handwriting analysis, I thought this might happen. The question is, what next? What next? If the prosecution can't prove that Mr. Ongard's motive through the evidence, then we must prove it from another angle. Well, I agree with you there. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand at this time. Who this time? As long as it's not old bag. However, this witness, this witness is a little unusual. Uh... The cat? Edgeworth stuttering? This is not like him at all. Unusual? Well, what sort of witness is this person, Mr. Edgeworth? This witness is one who is perfectly fit to answer once and for all the question of who was it that hired Shelley the Killer to commit murder? That's impossible. Who in the... No such person exists who can answer that question with such certainty. Yes, Mr. Redgeworth, who is this witness? It is... it's, um... Is he doing what I do? Where he just speaks before he's actually thought of anything? Good job, Edgeworth. Now you're... now you're cooking with Gaius. Now you know how to be a real attorney, prosecutor, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. So Edgeworth employed the old Phoenix technique of saying something that doesn't make sense and just hoping it works out. Um, you mean the killer? Uh, I mean the assassin? Yes, Your Honor. He's coming here to the witness stand? Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. I recognize that this is a very unusual circumstance, so I ask for your permission. Maybe he had somewhat of a plan, but it kind of seemed like he was making it up on the spot. Yes. Is this alright with you? Do I have a choice here? I can't really do much else to drag this trial out. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. I wonder if it really is alright to do this. Very well, then. The prosecution calls our witness to the stand. Edgeworth, is there no other way left to us? Is there no other way left to us? Uh, so what's gonna be at the stand? What am I gonna see when it pans over? Oh my god. Okay. Very good, sir. My name is... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-huh. My name is Shelley DeKiller, and I'm a professional assassin. Why is this happening? I say, what is going on here? Like I said before, maybe if he finds out that uh, Matt tried to blackmail him, maybe he'll switch sides. But that would also ruin his reputation a bit. How can you remain so calm, and what is the meaning of this two-way radio? Actually, Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now, and it came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. DeKiller will testify to this court. But how does the court know that that's him? It could be your fucking... that could be anybody. So this must be what that urgent phone call he got earlier was about. Oh no, this will not do. I cannot allow this in my court. I only allow all other manner of absurdities. But that is true, Judge. 
that we can't be sure that it's him. Witness, please present some sort of proof that you are in fact Shelly the Killer. I understand. Please wait a second. The court doesn't know about Maya. Maya! Maya! But now they do, and I can be reined in as a hero. Yay. Can you confirm anything else from this? The defense has no objections to this person. I guess all it takes is me to be fine with it, and then the judge will be fine with it. We are satisfied that this man is indeed Shelley the Killer. It looks like we have run into yet another unexpected turn of events. Well, it doesn't seem like we have too many choices under these circumstances, so... Now then, witness. There is one thing I would like to confirm before we speak of anything else. And that would be... At the request of a client, you killed Mr. Juan Corridor. Is this correct? It is as you say. I did indeed kill Mr. Corridor. Oh. Now that we have answered that, let's move on to the name of your client. Very well. This is all just a bad dream. Yes, that's it. A bad dream. Shelly the Killer. What is he going to say? I don't know. And we'll find out next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then.